Whenever you're ready. <clears throat> I'm Nico. Uh, humans are not the cause for global warming because it's a natural process to the world. Global warming brings, brings to mind climate change, holes in the ozone layer, the greenhouse effect, and that it's all caused by humans and our waste. Uh, by definition, global warming is the observed century scale rise in average temperature of the Earth's climate. Uh, climate change has been a natural process since prehistoric times. Lewis Lofton says climate change is real. It's a normal part of the Earth's process. That, changes have, uh, that change has always existed and is the driving force behind evolution. It's all through the historical record and is beyond dispute. <clears throat> Models and predictions of the climate cycle for seeing dramatic, uh, drastic changes have been proven wrong time and time again. <clears throat> NASA scientist Dr. Roy Spencer analyzed 90 climate models that found, and found that 95% of the models over forecasted warming trends since 1979. Uh, a big issue in climate change is the threat of the polar ice caps melting. But in recent studies found that uh, Arctic ice increased 50% compared to the same time in 2012. That was a study done this year. Uh, one of the biggest contributing factors to global warming is the greenhouse effect which is defined as the process of thermal radiation from the surface of the Earth that is absorbed by atmospheric greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide and methane, uh, and trapping in them, and, and trapping in the sun's heat with them. Uh, <coughs> it's called the greenhouse effect. Uh, the bill created, uh, a bill called the Kyoto Protocol, proclaimed reducing carbon dioxide emissions uh, to 7% below 1990s levels by 2012, but at the cost of 2.4 million government jobs and a loss of 300 million in annual economic output from federal spending. The severe policy, if fully implemented, would reduce global temperature by 0.14 degrees Celsius in the year 21,000. <coughs> yeah. The Oregon Institute petition, which was signed by 31,000 scientists, also found no convincing evidence, scientific evidence, that human, human release of carbon dioxide, methane, or other greenhouse gases is causing or will cause uh, any foreseeable, uh, will cause um, catastrophic um, heating in, to the Earth's atmosphere in this foreseeable future. Lastly, the ozone layer is not disappearing. Uh, Creationconcepts.org says it is widely believed that the Earth's ozone is being depleted because of CFCs found in propellants and other greenhouse gases um, when they escape into the stratosphere. But there is no proven theory that is linking uh, these gases to releasing CFCs. In closing, global warming is a big phenomenon, bigger than us. With so many other contributing factors, man's con contribution to global warming is so small, it is negligible. Thank you for your time. The countdown, count up. I guess it doesn't matter much. Okay, thank you. Gotcha. <laughs> Does he get a copy of the speech too? Or? No. No, I don't think he should. <laughs> I shouldn't either. Did you give me a copy of the speech? Yes, you did. That's not what I want. You must think you're in an English class. I've explained that you're not. All right, Nico, just a few comments. Uh, your proposition, you start off with the proposition at the very beginning, so that's okay. Uh, that's pretty clear. What follows is a list of topic areas, but not really claims, and so I wasn't sure if that was a preview of what the structure was going to be and what the issues were, or if it's just a discussion of what it is that constitutes the elements of global warming that uh, people talk about. On the first point, you did have, when you got into the body of the speech, you did have a pretty clear label uh, arguing that it's a natural process. That's the last place that I got a clear signpost, except at the 
the very end when you said, and one more thing, and then you talked about the ozone layer. So I don't know how many things were between that number one label and the one last thing, but there was uh, quite a few subjects that came up, and so I thought that organizationally it needed to be a little bit clearer. You had some good citations. Uh, you had a couple of early uh, sites talking about it being a natural process. The first quote that you gave, uh, you gave us a name. You didn't tell us who that person was and if they are so, they're, they're a scientist, a climatologist, for instance, I think that would add greater credibility. On the second one, when you criticize the models, you do give us uh, that person's uh, authority. I thought that was helpful. The data on the Arctic ice needs to come from a source. I, I'm not doubting that what you're saying is accurate, but it ought to be cited. Um, you know, you talk about the Kyoto Protocol, which is almost two decades old now and clearly not in operation, and it talks about what the consequences would be. That's really a sep uh, if we tried to adhere to the Kyoto Protocol, that's really a, a separate issue from whether or not uh, the greenhouse gases contribute to global warming. Uh, the argument that there's a negative consequence of trying to fix it, I think, is a little bit problematic. And then on your argument about CFCs and the ozone layer, you say that there's no evidence on this. However, the you're saying it doesn't make it true. Uh, if, if there's an authority or an expert who's looked at what the argument is and denies this relationship, uh, then you ought to cite that person. Otherwise, it's just an assertion on your part. I think you're doing a lot of reading here at the end, and you had a lot of time left. You were only you, know, you only used about half your time, so I think it could have been fattened up a little bit and made to be a lot more convincing. All right, thank you.